Well, hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome to another bone-chilling, spine-tingling, mind-blowing episode of the Black Hearts Club. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do our first ever movie review video, and this one comes from one of my good friends over at a film releasing company called Wild Eye Releasing, and the video we're going to be looking at today and reviewing is called The L.A. AIDS Jabber. I know the title sounds controversial, but this is actually a really, really good movie. I believe the movie was originally released in 1994, but Wild Eye has basically redistributed this, if I am correct, and it is now available to stream, but we'll talk about that more as the video goes along. So join me if you dare. Just when you thought it was safe to walk the streets of downtown L.A. Wait, it was never safe to walk the streets of downtown L.A. But now it's even unsafer because here comes the fully articulated Jabber with a fully playable syringe. It's never been more unsafe to walk the streets of downtown Los Angeles based on the hit movie from Wild Eye Releasing. Do you have what it takes to collect these figures? Other figures sold separately. So let's get right into this. Movie is LA AIDS Jabber. It's released by Wild Eye Releasing, as I mentioned at the start of this video. And they have partnered with a another distribution company, but I mainly know the guys over at, at Wild Eye because you know, they're, they're decent dudes. They're really, really cool dudes. You know, I've known them for a few years now. So, uh, it's streaming on the Tubi app. That's where I checked it out at. And it's free, of course, to check out on the Tubi app. So what have you got to lose? So hopefully after you guys watch this video, it'll at least pique your curiosity and you'll be like, oh, let me go check out this LA age jabber video that, uh, the Black Hearts Club was telling me about. It's, it's definitely a different type of movie it's of course based in los angeles and i'm not going to give away like the entire plot of the movie because if i do that then hey what's the point of you guys going and watching it right long story short is uh we know in the 80s and 90s because again i believe this movie was originally produced in 1994 kind of like right at the the peak of the the aids you know epidemic I think I said that right. Epidemic wouldn't be a pandemic, right? I think I pronounced that right. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, you guys know what I'm saying. So the idea is basically the guy finds out his name is Jeff. We'll call him Jeff the Jabber. Jeff the Jabber. That's that's a catchy title because he is the, the Jabber. Uh, finds out that somewhere he's gotten the AIDS virus and makes him very, very bitter. So he basically takes it upon himself to inject syringes full of his blood, of course, and anybody that he feels like has crossed his path or done him harm or done him wrong or basically screwed him over, he's going to get his revenge by basically jabbing them with the infected syringe. Definitely a, a different take on like serial killer type slasher horror movies and whoever originally produced this definitely was thinking outside of the box and when I first tuned in I was like you know this is this is going to be different you know am I going to be into this and within about the first 20 minutes I was like yeah this is this is a really a really good movie you know it's it's not in 4k quality it's not like remastered it's it's gritty it's it's very HD, very 90s style quality, but me being a vintage guy, I love that kind of quality. I don't always need 4K Ultra or, you know, all of that stuff. Some, sometimes, you know, the vintage look definitely works. And for this movie, it definitely works. The ending of the movie definitely has a plot twist, you know, you almost start to feel bad for Jeff because it's like, you know, the guy is just trying to figure out where he got the virus. He's got an idea where he thinks the virus came from that he came in contact with. So, of course, 
he takes it out on on the girl that he thinks basically gave it to him. But uh, did she or did she not give it to him? That's the, the question here. And the only way you'll find that out is, of course, like I said, if you actually stream the movie over on Tubi. And Wild Eye definitely has their finger on the pulse of what the horror crowd likes because they've released like custom action figures. They're not mass produced action figures, but as you can see up here and at the start of this video, they actually have a jabber action figure and he even comes with a little uh, playable syringe and they've got action figures for for other movies too they've had like alien type movies they've had shark movies shark exorcist is one of wild eyes most known movies and they've had action figures for that as well and like i say they're custom figures they're not mass produced it's it's mainly stuff that they they just pop up on their social media just to help kind of give the movies a a quick promotion you know to draw attention to it and it's it's a clever marketing idea they've also released you know like limited edition vhs's like in you know the old clamshell cases which is something i've been thinking seeing that nostalgia is very very hot right now vhs limited editions are definitely something that you know horror collectors are into wild eye also has you know t-shirts you know you can look that up you know go to the wild eye website and they've got links that'll take you to to all kinds of their merchandise so wild eye releasing definitely has their finger on the pulse of what the horror community is looking for now with all the you know retro and nostalgia crazes going on and la aids jabber like I say, Jeff the Jabber, he's the main antagonist in the movie and basically wreaks havoc throughout Los Angeles, infecting and injecting, that rhymes, infecting and injecting the citizens that did him wrong in Los Angeles with the virus. So, what do you think about the Jabber? Are you going to give this movie a uh, watch? Going to give it a thumbs up? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you've already seen this movie, also let us know that in the comments below. And check out all of Wild Eye Releasing's work. Like I say, go to their website, go to their Twitter, go to their Facebook. Check them out on all their platforms because they have got a massive, massive catalog. They've got Christmas-style horror movies like Mrs. Claus. They've got all kinds of stuff. Probably anything that you're looking for in the horror or sci-fi genre, these guys have it. So definitely give them that thumbs up and if you like this video how about joining our club by smashing that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up also if you like this video and let us know what else you would like to see us do and what are the movies you would like to see us review and we're going to be doing all kinds of things this spooky season halloween hunts haunted attractions horror movie reviews all kinds of stuff so stick around to the black hearts club not just spooky season, but all year long for all things spooky, all things horror, all things paranormal, all things creepy. So until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.